and I'm going to introduce to my guest here, if we're not already on camera, I'm going to bring on a gentleman who is very popular in his native Limerick city. He's a real Limerick man. Very, very popular in many spheres and uh, sporting and socially and in the life of industry and commerce. Sounds big deal now, doesn't it? Well, it isn't really because he's a very ordinary guy, but he's a VOP, not a VIP. This program is not for VIPs. I, I don't want any uh, VIPs in this program, mega stars and all that. No, I just want very ordinary people. This man, he's ordinary, but he's extraordinary in my books because he's, he's such a, a much loved man in Liberty City. I'm referring to a man whose name is Tommy Tobin. But of course, to his intimates and colleagues, close colleagues, he's known as Smacky Tobin. Tommy Smacky Tobin. Well, I have a policy all my life that I never call a man by his pet name or nickname. I always call a man by the name he was my mother taught me to address people by the name as they were baptized, which I do. So may I say at this juncture, anyway, yeah. I'll even be very far and shake hands, my old pal, Tommy Tobin. Nice to see you, Tom. Pleased to meet you, Tom. And <laughs> pleased to meet me. And welcome to, to my little television yeah. routine yeah. here every week. You heard me telling all the folks outside that I do very ordinary conversation yeah. with very ordinary nice people. Now, Tommy Tobin, before we go into anything, we go along nice and gradually about your lifestyle in Limerick and all that nice and yeah. informal. Yeah. Tom, a, far, a few weeks ago, before I asked you to come in on this guest spot, which I titled In Town Tonight, yeah. Yeah. meaning celebrities, yeah. big yeah. deal. Yeah. Yeah. Again, Tom, we were down there outside Penny's uh, drapery store there, and you pointed across, and you said to me, right. I, was, I wanted to talk rowing to you, yeah. but you weren't having any. You were pointing across. Tom said to me, you see that building over there, and I'm pointing to Easton's. Yeah. I worked there for how many years? 59. You worked there? Not, not in that particular business. No, but for that firm? Yeah. Fifth. I that's right. Huh? 59 years yeah. with one firm? Yeah, went in there in 1941. Of course, the firm was Thomas Hassett. Oh, Thomas Hardware Hassett. Merchants. Hardware Merchants. Uh, O'Connell Street, Limerick. O'Connell Street, Limerick, yeah. Tom, are you serious? And I'm still working, Tom. You are? You are. Sure, I was talking the other day when, when I was giving a rain check on your presence yeah. here tonight. Yeah. Are you with the same firm, Tom, for, yeah. fif for 59 yeah, years? Yeah, 40, 41, and we're in the year 2000. That's 59 years ago. You're nearly 60 years with one firm. I am, I am. Big um, year, I'll be 60 years old. You should get the Irish equivalent of the OBE. Yeah. You should be honoured for yeah. the one firm. That's right. Well, it speaks well for you as an employee, Tom, and a yeah. worker, yeah. and it speaks well for the people you work for. Ah, yeah. In as much as that they were satisfied with your work, and I'm sure they were generous towards ah, you. Yeah, well, they were great people. They were people. They were That's the Hassett family. The Hassett family. Fourth generation, Tom, is it? Well, I'd say it is. I'd say it is, Tom. Now, okay, Tom, you started the ball rolling about where you began, but... Uh, when you when you went in, you were you only a child. What is it? You, oh, gee, I wasn't more than a child. I was around seventeen or eighteen. Hey, yo. I was. <laughs> it was it I was. It was, was my first job. It was first job. I, I left school. I left school. You, did you tell me there uh, when I was talking the other evening that you were actually born above in Ballinacolla? I was. I was. Over all the elite. Yes. I was above in Ballinacolla, boy. <laughs> where you? Uh, yeah, near to Punch's Cross Lake. I know. Near to Punch's Isn't that near enough to where you're walking now? It has it's, it's, it's in the same place. It's in the same, the same place. The so you've been walked walked down down away for half a century. That's all. That's back all. Again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's excellent. Yeah, we went back out there. Yeah. But anyway, Tom, as I said, you, when you went over, has it snow? What, number 12, is it? No, 7. Number 7. Nine, nine O'Connor Street. Nine, nine O'Connor Street. Nine, nine oh, O'Connor Street. A, a, another, another, another nine number, exactly. Where well, Easton's is now. Where Easton's is now. Oh, I see. Well, Tom, when you went in there now, just for the sake of all the folk, that was 1961, is it? 50? 41. 41? Yeah, The 41. war was still in progress. Oh, it was. We were still, we were still, we were still. We, no, there was hardly no, nothing coming into the shop. All repairs over to Welch's across the road, down around the corner and after ski. That was ironwork, though. No? Ironwork, old kettles and pots and, and what, pans as and As a youngster, Tom, when you were then, what was your main function in the, in the firm? What were you doing? Well, to, tidying up and all that class of stuff. When I went in there first, and I went in under the, sto under the store, man. Johnny Mahoney was his name. Mm -hmm. Johnny Mann, he was a dear, and uh, as I say again, and then I used to add little things around the town. If they wanted a little thing in a hurry, up to Newsom's. You were the general factor. Or, or, or over to make mines, or across the, around the corner to Lane, or something. But Tom, 41, and all them. 41, was not uh, uh, the, the, the year, the, war, the big war was really in, 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 in progress. Oh, it was. Was, was. was there a scarcity of hardware items? Oh, there was. Oh, dear, you get nothing at that time, Tom. 
Is that so? It was. There was nothing. There was nothing. There was hardly nothing at all. Everything was all second hand. Was second hand. Second hand. Even in your firm. In, in the, even in the firm, all the five fittings that we that was. But then the upstairs, Tom. Didn't to the other apartment. We you were just after Quinns. The Quinns. Yeah, just across the road. You're yeah. the next across here. You're the next firm. Don't don't electric. Oh, it's said about. It's said about. It's said about. And if I remember correctly, in later years, yeah. may I say. I had a friend in there, Mr. Slater. That's right, Jack Slater. Jack Slater. Yeah, yeah, he's right. Do you know Jack? I didn't know him. You must have. He worked above, he worked above here. Jack, I visit Jack's uh, house, the Marsons, the Marsons family. Yeah. Tommy, who's with the big... You know Tommy Morrison. Oh, I do. He's retired now. Yeah, he was, the, he was, the he was with, with the cinemas. The cinemas, that's right. Yeah, you know yeah, him the, yeah, the yeah, cinema well, that's circuit. Yeah. Uh, but Jack Slater... Was he English originally? I'd say he was, Tom, I'd say he was. Well, his part yeah. piece anyway was Stanley Holloway's. Yeah. There's a little seaside place called Blackpool, yeah. well known for its fresh air and fun. Yeah. Where well, Mr. and Mrs. Ram spot them, we'd go with young, etc., etc., etc. But anyways, Thomas, you, you did, then you, did you graduate into other parts of the house then? Helping around and working and your, your knowledge of the... Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. The, yeah. I, I, well, I learned all those. I learned all about boats and nuts and all that type of stuff, yeah. Well, I, I, I remember one time, uh, Tom, I gave a quiz a number of years ago about Thomas Hassett now. Yeah. I gave a quiz on one of my... I don't know who it was at the time, because I drifted around to them all in yeah, time. Yeah. According as they disintegrated, I was pulled in by the, by the head and head one way. Yeah, yeah. uh, I gave a quiz to know what was the number one, telephone number one in the old days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You picked up the phone, yeah. and the girl said, number please. And then yeah. she was, yes, a lovely day, yeah, and yeah, you have yeah. a nice weekend. Yes, yes. The personal touch. Yes, no computers. Know, yeah, yeah. And uh, well, no, number, I think number two was Hassis, was it? Hassis was number two. Oh, and across, across the road in was the Foley's. Foley's was directly across the road. They had a... They had a they had first phone in Limerick. They had number one. Foley's was number one across the... Next door to Canics. And you had uh, to go uh, to uh, Hassis? Uh, was shop. Well, incidentally, Tom, I'm not digressing now. Yeah. But that was the telephones now. Yeah. What firm in Limerick, Tom, I give this as a quiz too, but I'll ask you now. Uh, what firm in Limerick had TI-1 on their motor car, or lorry, we'll say? Well, I won't, I won't delay you, yeah. while you're still working. No, Omaris. Omaris, yeah. They had a big lorry with no tyres, solid yeah. tyres. Yeah, yeah. Big lorry, boom, 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 yes. like a tank. Yeah. TI1 yeah, was there, was number, so yeah, they are. Yeah. So you'll learn that much by coming in tonight. I did, I did, I did. But Tom, you moved out then. Well, I'll tell you, Don, odds are in though, you only moved out in recent years out there, but... About 31 years now, to, to come from 9 o'clock straight time. Oh, are you? No, of course. It's easy yeah. now. It's easy you know. now. But, Thomas, now, back to yourself now. That was your hardware years. Yeah. Incidentally, Thomas, what school did you go to? Section Street. Oh, did you? It is. No, Tom, you are, you are associated yeah. with the sporting life of Limerick. In, in, in many sports. Yeah. What's your first love? I know, I know, but yeah, tell the folk. I said, I said, I said it was, it was Rowan. Did that so? Well, that, that, that's where I started off at. Yeah. Well, I joined up St. Michael's. Well, I had a great pleasure lately, Tom. I had a great pleasure lately of, uh, of, uh, being out in the world's ending. You yeah, know what, yeah, yes, I, I, do, I do, I do, I do. And I saw eight fine strapping young men. Yeah, and yeah. <laughs> flying by. I had and that. In a senior eight. Yeah. And written on the boat was, the, Tom Tobin. Yeah. That boat was called after you in in, 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 in respect of uh, your great service to the sport. Yeah, well, I don't. Well, that, that, there was a boat, uh, and that, I couldn't, I was, the boat that was, the boat that was christened below in St. Michael's by Father Manning. The same boat? No, but this was a fort, Tom. A fort? A fort was a fort. Well, may, maybe I made yeah, the other yeah, one, yeah. and I'm, I'm not very good fort, at the mathematics. Yeah, yeah, it was a fort, Tom. Oh, that, that's a terrible long time ago. I'd say that fort is, is, is well gone off of the river now. It's not, it's still outside. Uh, yeah. But you see, what happened was, I don't yeah. know, I'm up the correction here yeah, now, yeah. but I think it is, they had a bit of a disaster. Yeah. Some vandals got it aboard. Oh, did they? And they, they replaced they? it. Yeah, yeah. But I knew, and still caught it. But yeah. Tommy was feeling very uh, satisfied that you were immortalised by the board. I had a very nice old club. Nice gesture. A too. very nice old club. Yeah. What were you, what rank did you come to in the club, Tom? I became president. I was president for a few years now. Uh, of St. Mike's Royal? Yeah, yeah. President? President. I do all that. Temperance. Did you roll yourself, Tom? I did a small bit. I, wouldn't, I didn't make too great a hand of it. Mm. But I wouldn't have made any yet, I raised. I wouldn't have run a ride of a small bit. And, and Tom, who was on the boat with you that time? Who were there? There was, uh, I don't know, I, I go back to that one. There was Billy Hoare. 
he, he's dead and buried now. He was an insurance man. He lived above in above in Prospect, yeah. up around there. There was a. Bunty, Bunty, I not too. Bunty, well, he's he. I don't, was he in the same year? Was he in the ah, same well, year? You, you, Cyril Mullins, Cyril Mullins, oh, Cyril Mullins. So no, no, Paddy Egan. No, it was no. At that time, it was it was Lamb Hall that was Cox. Oh, the yeah, army yeah. got him. Yeah. Lamb Hall was. But they were great clubs, sir Michael. Well, but did Cyril Road and Yard Sir Cox. Mm -hmm. Ah yeah, ah yeah. But no, but yeah, but I mean, Sir Michael, a very thriving growing club. And I think I think we were be, at the, the same year we had a, we had a fine maiden yet, but it was better in the country, and they were Cork Water Club. So. And every place we went, Cork Water Club. <laughs> Did and we us, and we met them below in their home ground below on the lee, and that was where we won or made the yeah, cool. the last we got in the season we beat them. And have you many? Have you? <coughs> pardon me, <coughs> pardon me, Tom. Have you many uh, trophies on your sideboard? When I mean for drawing, now that is. I wouldn't. I wouldn't, Tom. No, 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 no. I wouldn't. Have. But you, 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 so you were an administrator, so Tom. Yeah, yes. well, yeah, well, that's it. With Paddy yeah. Egan and all. Yeah, him. yeah, hold him, Christy, hold him, and hold him. Yeah, but Tom, I, I tell you, my, my first meeting with you now is very, very funny. We had a boy scout dance on a Saturday night, and the rowing club, St. Mike's, had one on Sunday night. That's right. Huh? And I remember the first night I walked, we were, with the boys in the school kid, we were full of enthusiasm yeah. to see how the dance was worked. Yeah. And we went down for a few hints yeah. on the Sunday night to see how the dance was run. Yeah. How to take the half crowns and yeah, yeah. the pass outs yeah. and the uh, toppings for a year over course and everything. Yeah. And were you were head gaffer, Jordan, that, weren't you? I was. I used to do. I used to do uh, MC. I used uh, to run those dances down there for years. Yeah, and you were the great old way with you. Yeah. And I remember the night I was there now, you said, the next dance, though, it'd be a lady's choice. Yeah. And I want no one sitting down on their behinds when the music is on to all get up girls. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And we'll find anyone sixpence that doesn't yeah. get up dancing. I should. Uh, and spot prices. Yeah. And ladies' choices, Tom. Yeah, we were get, we used to, uh, Christmas was a great time there, and New Year's Eve and Christmas Eve and all that. We used to get all the, all the, all the decorations and everything from gigs in Dublin. That's right. Gigs. Yeah, all the cats and cats and all. It was a family affair. Carnival dance. Oh, yeah. They called them the hats. Family. Hats. Hats. Family affair. And on the poster yeah. there would be written, hats and uh, novelties. Yeah, yeah. And then I think the big thing of the night, Tom, was, got the innocence of the boys and girls, yeah. the mistletoe dance. Yeah, yeah. Holding a little sprig of mistletoe yeah. over by and get <laughs> And I offered yeah. it out uh, no the old dance, Tom. The world, 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 all the marriages that yeah. began in St. Michael's stuck. I did it, did it, did it, because there was no, what let's say, uh, you know, there was no rows down there, there was no trouble. It was in latter years when they had to close down the place. It was in latter years when they married. But I wasn't there at I was, I, I was, it was in latter years like that it did get rough. And, yeah, but of course... Uh, they finally I, didn't put the... Uh, Lucky enough, they were able to do it. They finally put the lock in the door and they said no more because uh, it got too rough. Ah, uh, yeah, that was the dancing. But I'm uh, talking, old Tom, yeah. about the happy couples. Oh, God, should have been They had no argument. No, they they no, all no. lived in peace and uh, happiness. And I meet them right away, old Tom. Ah, should be, you should be great, then. And they look at me, in my case, yeah. and they say, Tom O'Donnell, look what you landed me with. Yeah. According in, in your mind, like, yeah. you know, in your mind. But they got so popular, Tom, down there that we had to, they just queue up. Around the corner. <laughs> <laughs> and the, the front of the queue, would be all pushed away and the people at the back of queue would get in before the people in the oh, front. Sounds, so finally we had to, mm. had to run it on invitation. Yeah, well you ran it, your dance was running similar lines for yeah, us, Saturday to, and Sunday. We had to run it on in invitation then, we had to issue invitation. So there was no more queue. No more queue. If you hadn't, uh, if you hadn't an invitation, you, you couldn't come in. We used charge, Tom, I don't know about your Sunday night dance, yeah. though, but we charged half a crown to go in and ladies, Two shillings. Yeah, something like That's that. That's sixpence, yeah. so the men were superior yeah. by sixpence. Yeah. Six old pence. Yeah. They were superior. Tom, you played rugby with Joe sir. I did, I did. I say, yeah, that, that's what that I say. I joined up Sam Michaels, and then, as they say again, I went up playing rugby with Joe Munster. But there was there was a brotherhood between St. Michael's Temperance and Joe Munster, wasn't there? Ah, there was. There the same was, guys. They say, yeah, but we often got, we got a few, we often got a Richmond fellow, and a, but we got a few other you fellas in, few in between, pop. yeah, in yeah. between. Uh, Who did you play with Andrew Munster? Donald O'Connell, no. Donald O'Connell, no. Yeah. He was a fine Richmond player. Donald. Who was on your team, Tom? The Munster team, your Munster team? 
in the pack now at the back. Oh, we had, we had, we had, we had Alger O'Connor. Alger. Alger was on it. Was Mark Van Eysen with you? I know, he was, he was in the scene of team. He was in the scene. Oh, you didn't make scene of No, I know, I played, played Jonah. Well, you see the scene of, well, I don't know about that, I, whether they've made it or not, but I wasn't interested in playing scene. No. Because they, that was all Saturday, you see, and I, you to, I, was, I, was, oh, no, I was working, I was working on a Saturday and I couldn't play Jonah. Frankie Coe, said the very and same and, thing. And this, he got a... He, could, he was a, a, a barber. A barber. A yeah. barber. And he, yeah. he never forgave his father yeah, yeah. for not letting him off to watch the match as his son. So Frankie Coe, he says. Yeah. But you enjoyed your rugby days with oh, the, the Wasps, anyway? I did, I did, I did. I did three I did. All the Wasps. I did three years. Michael Egan. Wasp. Lord Kilbridge. Lord Kilbridge. Lord Kilbridge. They were all like that. Well, Tom, you went into soccer. And, uh, well, well, I can't see. Uh, Dolan Ames, Dolan Ames won't come to me, but he's outside now in Shannon, and he's in the Knights of Malta or something, and he's a great character as well, but I can't, I can't oh, place a yeah. name. Oh, yeah. I can't place a name, and he, he was playing the old team to a great yeah. character. Great spirit amongst us all. Otherwise, wasn't wasn't it? Well, did, yeah. did you play Tom in the old bombing field? No, no, but I, I often went, I, I often, I often went up, I often went up to the bombing field and watched them play up there already. Right. Yeah. And what, Tom, did, did Jonah, you played Jonah soccer, didn't you? I did, I did, I played Jonah with Sam Michaels. I played, good, and I played, I played minor with an old prospect team oh, yeah. that formed after the great Reds and I said, did you hear, ever hear of it? I, well, I heard of Reds, yeah, they well, were a great team. There was, there was Christy Nealon, Johnny Nealon, Beatty Neal and Gussie Neal. Four brothers. There were four brothers. In the one team. Played, played. Well, I don't know what did Beatty actually play because he was the youngest of them. But about, about two or three, about two of them, Gussie definitely played. Mm. He played and I think, and Christy could have played and, and Christy could have played yeah. and another one could have played with all our minor team. Well, their, their father, Tom, their father be, was captain of the was, famous young Muslim Beatty, 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 Beatty Neal. Beatty Neal. Well, Beatman Cup Be team. Yeah, and, and that's why they called... The young fella. The young fella. Beatman. That's Beatman. why they called him Beatty. Exactly. But exactly. as I say again, we had a, we had a, I played with Prospect Minor, and we won the, the Minor Cup here in town. And there was about three of the Neelan mm. brothers playing, and four of them actually played with Liberty. OK, well, now, tell me this now, Tom, Tommy Tobin. What characters of the junior days of football of those days, do you recall? Anyone come to mind? Well, I don't know. Myself and what's well, his name? Well, Palmer Sheehan, anyway. Yeah, well, I just... Yes, okay. uh, yeah. Playing with Wanderers. Yes, that's right. That's right. And that's lovely right. man. Played with and does a lot for school boys. And then Tom Clifford, Tom Clifford mm. came up out of the heart to carry. And we, we was came Tom Clifford the carry man? He came up with his father and I the mother, I suppose, and I know how many more. Like Mick But they lived, they lived across from McNamara's, from McNamara's old, 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 old bakery there in, in near the park. You're not gonna gonna up the hill across big there. They lived across there. I think they called it school schoolhouse lane school or something there. Land. They lived there. And as I say again, he played with Wanderers. Did he? He did. Who? Tom Clifford did played, he? played and with Rory Wanderers. Keane. And Rory Keane. But didn't and Tom live in 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 in, in Tanyard Land? Oh. He did. Uh, he did. But that was that was that was that was. He lived in Tanyard Land. Then right. after he got married, now he lived in Tanyard Land. But uh, the, 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 as I say again, I remember Magua and I remember the bomber, as we call him. And, like and he's, he's still he's still alive. And, and then, Gucci. And then there used to be then there used to be Gucci. And he what was, was the, the song about he Gucci? Was, he was the character. And and the big crowds would be above in the bar. Oh, and the and the line. Yeah. And they'd be singing. Go on, go on. Gucci egg and sin no cindamen, Gucci egg and cindamen. If you don't send them in, it'll be a sin. Pretty ladies will be there. Flying colours in the air. Send them in, go Gucci egg, egg and send them, them in. <laughs> ah, they were great. No, it has to be the same bed, wouldn't it? Well, they, were great, they, were, they were great, they were they great were characters there. Black, black, black. And uh, do you uh, remember uh, Gorky McMahon in Yeah, Gord? yeah, he was not a character. He always kept, whenever Gold went in against him, yeah. he came out and he attacked his own yes, fullbacks. Yes, yes, yes. They were always his fault. They were, yeah. <laughs> they were <laughs> not Yeah, Gorky was uh, not a character. Yeah, they were great all. Were, and you remember Mickey Rowan? Do you remember Johnny Delahunty? I do, I do. The Grand man, was Yeah, yeah, I do. Fine dancer. I do, but Did you yeah. dance yourself at all, Tom? Smile bit behind Sam Michaels. That's all. That's all. Well, we got the waltzing. Smile bit of waltz. Waltz. Old time waltz. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, that's right. Well, Tom, you mentioned Schoolhouse Leander. Yeah. I was reading a book lately. Uh, what's his name? It was... Uh, the Deeper Schoolhouse Leander, they called it anyway. What's that book there now? Uh, Angel's Office. Yeah, yeah. Well, hadn't there something to do with Schoolhouse Leander? Did you know of that era? Were you reading that era? Well, but I thought, I thought I, I didn't read Angel of Ashes no yeah. time, and I wouldn't when they had what was about. I yeah. thought it was a terrible thing to say. I know, I know, About I know. the city. I thought yeah. it was bringing it down, Tom. I but know. I thought that all, I thought that was all the old St. Mary's Park. What? This, this thing, Angel of Ashes. What do you mean, Tom? The story, like, the story, where he was born and all that. You, you, I think you read the wrong book, you, right? you must have been. No, but we ever see, we ever see supposed to have been born and all that, because uh, I didn't, I didn't well, tell you. I don't know, but what is in America, I don't know, confused about it. Oh, yeah. I've heard so much about it, I'm blown yeah, to face yeah, me yeah. here about it. But we'll talk about Tommy Tobin now. Yeah. Tom, had you great years in your life in Limerick and all the friends you made? Oh, yeah, I say, for a thing. As yeah. I say, I don't, I mean, as I say again, most of them are, most of them are in, going through St. Michael's. Mm. All St. Michael's. As they say, Paddy Egan you know, was a group with a yeah, great yeah, friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Mullins is Paddy uh, and uh, all that crowd. And all that crowd. And then. And but in the city of Limerick, Tom, what, what events that happened in Limerick City over the years come to your mind now? Apart from sport and football, what well, things there? We all remember something yeah, that took what place. The <laughs> what, what fires do you remember, Limerick, Tom? Tards was great for you. Was it? Tards, yeah, Tards, man. The whole block. Oh yeah, I went over to Roches, over to Roches Corner now, yeah. to, to feel it, and I had to move away from the corner. To, 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 to see it or to feel it? The heat was so oh, great. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The heat was so great. Roches, yes, sir. And then there was a great bit of anxiety. Sheedy, of, I think they were out in Esky or some place like that, they had the, the, the knock on the bit, and this fellow came over in, in yeah, a big ball. with a big ball. And before that he was dropping a few pins here and there, like, and it was exciting. Did you hear the commentary? But, now, was there a commentary going on when a big ball yeah. was swinging and knocking yeah, touch? Yeah, but the problem, the problem with the swinging ball was it hit the wrong place at one time. Why? Because there's an opening, when you go up William Street, there's an opening there just that Todd's going to bring you into Thomas Street. Yeah, it's so right. Yeah? Near Michael Gleason, was there? Listen, yeah, but I know it was in the voice of yeah, Ireland. Well, 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 I'll tell you about this, anyway, and this is true. Yeah. But a few years before, a few years, Todd's actually took a piece out of the corner and put a girder overhead and put in uh, this lovely window mm. to display to display articles. Mm. And the fella that was knocking the wall with the big ball. The big ball. Done lovely. He done lovely. Yeah, Up along the whole ball. Area. Done lovely. Yeah, what happened? Well, instead of, and so what happened was, whether he hit the wall at the wrong side or yeah. not, I don't know. But the wall was to fall in, and he sure has got to be judged. The wall fell across onto, onto the pub. Oh, it's like pub. Gleason's pub and knocked a bit of it. Oh, Damaged well. it. It did. It did. Well, I was just about to say to you there. In the excitement. In, in the excitement. Well, if you were listening to that commentary on that, that thing happening, because I was doing the commentary. Was it? <laughs> no. Go There's away. a little bit of it. Go yeah, away. I tell yeah. you, I was working, as you know well, selling pores for yeah, all card yeah, market yeah. You know, I, I saw millions of pores, don't you? Yes, yeah. In the hardware yeah, yeah, yeah. Sent them all over the yeah, world. Yeah. Well, he thrown myself. We sent them all over the world. Yeah, yeah. You see fellas for days after and they're up in their posterior yeah, yeah. because they were chipped in transit, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah. But with regard to that, that, that conversation, with regard to the, to, to, to the morals, remember morals? I do, I do. Did I you do. that? Yeah. still there, Tom. You know, I think they're going to tennis. Yeah, but anyway, yeah, yeah. they came down to me in Card yeah, Market Row yeah. and they heard there was an MC in the scout yeah, yeah, yeah. that We want someone to give a commentary. Yeah. Uh, quite a, a commentary, yeah, but I know yeah. they got a mic off of Jimmy Carroll, yeah, yeah. an old Reslaw mic, yeah. and they have to say, I, I felt like Raymond Glendinning, yes, big deal. I know, yeah, and I thought, yeah. the ball was coming down, oh, I told the boot, but there's a big tent, the ball, yeah, yeah. and just swinging over all our heads. Yeah, yeah. And you know what they did? And what they did was, the reason more, you may ask now, why did Morris ask me? to do that. Like, what was their interest in the fire? Yeah. That cost millions of pounds. Yes, yeah. And hundreds of jobs, for the time being. Yeah. Anyway, the reason they did was, Morris got the agency for Ireland for a particular kind of watch. Yes. I and see. the watch was a shock, a proof. Yes. So Morris got the agency. So they sent, this is a bit of real yeah, social yeah, history yeah, in America. Yeah, yeah. Morris got the agency for this particular watch, Tom. Yes. They went up in a helicopter. In those days, it was called helicopter, isn't it? Yes, that's right. They said, oh, the, 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 the blades. Yeah. Went up in there, and they dropped the watch down from two miles. And the watch landed low among the ruins 
of the of uh, the Sheehy, Sheehy's and yes. Sheehy brothers are scared. Yes, 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 yes. They picked up the watch and it didn't lose a second. Oh, yeah. So Morris came over to me when the whole thing was over. I was thrilled to do yeah, it. I yeah, was thrilled, yeah. excited. Yeah. And they said to me, you're only school, but they said to me, we can't offer you money. Yes. So what we'll do, uh, yeah. Tom, they call yeah. me Tom. Yeah. Tom said, uh, we'll give you the actual watch. Yeah. I had that watch for years after. Oh, yeah. It was out, knocked off yeah. at a concert in Longford, at which we were guesting. Joe Dolan was on a concert, and we were on in the interval, and wasn't it knocked up? Nothing happened if we dropped two miles yes, down. Yes, yes, yeah. And the big bar. Yeah. But it's stolen in the dress oh, room. Yeah. And I never, this day, I never forgave the fellow. I have such a reminder of the yeah, history. Yeah, right, yeah. Oh, but yeah. Tom, that was me, though, my little incident yeah, on the yeah, big bar. Yeah, yeah. But tell me about you and, and all the characters going around the town, Tom. You meet them every day. Yeah, what was his name? Uh, just Tom Dole, Dole memory, Dole memory is classic. That's a lot on your mind. Uh, Dole memory, I uh, can't bring back now. I do, Corky Ryan. Did you ever hear of Corky Ryan? Corky? Did you? Did he work in the corporation? No, no, Corky Ryan. He was a big, a big, big fella. And oh, I, yeah. think he, I think he was a bit shell-shocked. Yeah, yeah. And if he got a few points, like, he was gone out. I know. And he was going to Burton's. 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 That was a billet hall. The billet hall. And mm. he was a fairly good player. Mm. Good player. Pardon Joe. A good player, but I, I, but I don't know what happened this evening anyway, and I heard all the roaring, and they came out, and there was, there was, there was Gorky, and he halfway out, and the old fella, Gorky, and he halfway out, and he halfway again. Oh, well. <laughs> Shut and all up. <laughs> Shut and all up. He was a character. Ah, yes, I'm sure he was a good, a good man. Oh, he was. But our own town of a lot of... In those days, Tom, you see, people had time to talk. Oh, yeah. And get together and chat. And we got cars come in and television come in and everything came yeah, in and yeah. the world has changed. Yeah, oh, People yeah. have time to... Do you miss yeah. the old times, Tom? I do. I uh, do. When you were a, a chat man. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sure you do. may be a bit shy tonight now. Yeah. But normally you were a great man to have a conversation. Oh, yeah, we're all, we're all, we're all the lads, like, you know, all, all the boys. But you always... Oh, yeah, I had all these things to talk about. You had old soccer and you had old rugby and you had old run. And you had, you had, you had old... But Sloker Tom, and Billers and all that, you know, me and all the different fellas. Apart, Tommy Tobin, yeah. for, apart from the from the, the fire and the big bottle, yeah. I just didn't see it. Yeah. They're swinging that's across. Be, that's oh, yeah. if, it, if a chain broke and half of them, it could be killed. I see. There's thousands of them. Yeah. Well, hundreds. Right. But anyway, Tom, <clears throat> what other big events do you remember, Tom? Do you remember the toaster? I do, I do. I remember. Was that a great turnout? Twice, twice. And, and as they say again... We win that. Yeah, and we we I used to, I used to we used to, we used to uh, what they say uh, when the old when the old parades would be around we used to get a float together above the Southfield barracks. Oh yeah. And I remember one time we all dressed up and I dressed up and I had a big placard in front of me and written across the placard was Donnelly's sausages. Oh yeah. It was written on the placard. And one of my pals, Ray McCormick, took a photograph of me and he gave it to me. And he, he suggested actually you should you should you should send that to Donnelly's. You got, you'll be eating sausage for this, you like. And your man, your man, your man came down about a week and a partner yeah, after. Yeah. And, and, and thank me and all that and give me a fiver. And, and a fiver was all the pounds there. It was very good, it is. What other big events come to mind, Tom? The tanyard. The tanyard. The fire. The fire, yeah. And the closing down at the tanyard. T do you remember the Roger Stores fire, Tom? I do, I do. I do, I do. That was not a big That was in the 50s or 60s? That's right, that's right. That's well, right. I heard, I heard they were getting all the clothes out, is that yeah, right, Tom? Yeah, yeah. Suits and Clothes shorts and, and yeah. overcoat setting. Yeah. And for years after, Tom, I know this, there's so many volunteers came in to help in that, to help yeah, out. Yeah, like. yeah. For years after, Tom, a fellow would meet you downtown. And he'd be well dressed as you as well as you are tonight, yeah. Tom. <laughs> I must say, I feel like yeah, a pauper yeah, beside yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. But a fellow would walk over yeah, to you, yeah. sir, and he said, in your case, now he'd yeah. say, God, Tom. <laughs> That's like one of the stories. No, he'd say that. Oh, Jay wouldn't dare say that. You said, Hey, Tom, how's yeah, it going? Yeah, yeah. Well, he knew yeah, whether yeah. that soldiers yeah. hand me down yeah. from the fire. Yeah. And uh, for, yeah. for months after, yeah. they, were, they were knocking up past their own suits, you yeah. know? Yeah, but it was not a good character, no, not Darby. Michael Paul Ryan, he was a bit of a comedian. Oh, I spoke about him here a month ago. Did you? He was a lovely man. Well, we were great old pals. He was a lovely man. He was keep pigeons and all, and he was interested in pigeons and... and, and did he keep did, pigeons? Oh, he did. I, just, I never did, know he was a bird fancier. I did, don't need back, he kept pigeons. Oh, yeah. He did. Did he? And Desi Heslam was around the corner. What about and Michael Paul, though? And he kept pigeons. Wasn't he in the Calaroga players? He was, and he played in goal with Sir Michael, soccer team. And yeah. we had him in goal. Had he? And I was playing, I was playing full back or something. We were playing Cal's the same day, and uh, and 
the ball, the ball came back, and 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 uh, and don't you know? I heard I heard this sound or something, mm. and I, ju- I went to pass the ball back to Michael. And where 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 was Michael? Right, right behind me, back over the goal. Okay. <laughs> well, Tom, what was the height? He's I, I, yeah. I, I, I want we want to dwell too much yeah. on football. Yeah. yeah. But Tom, what was the highest score that certainly was ever scored in Limerick? Mm. No, you wouldn't. Okay, okay. Well, now. From time since the past yeah. 20 years, I've had uh, characters yeah. chatting about all the American talking about yeah, Because, as you know, I've a love affair. Now, who was the first? I think he was the first. Who was the first goalkeeper that played with Limerick? The same or thing? I'll tell you. Billy Douglas. That's your underbar. I'm underbar. And who was the standing? Mahal O'Brien. Yeah, Mahal O'Brien. You're underbar. Well, Mahal O'Brien. Anyway, getting back now to my little. He was United man. He was, actually. He was. But to get back to my story, I saw. As a child, because I was that height, I loved football. Yeah. I loved that. And there was no big money or big stars or, no, no. or exploiting children by buying yeah. expensive gear in those days. We just followed the club. But I'll tell you now, Smacky, I saw a match out in the island. Remember the island? Yeah, yeah. On the I island know, field, yeah, as yeah. it was called, affectionately then. Uh, I saw a, a soccer match there. And I saw the highest score ever, certainly in Limerick City. Yeah. It was... A team called At League. Yeah. Does it ring a bell with you? No. A T H L E I G U E. They came from St. Joseph's. Yeah. All the O'Connell yeah. Three brothers O'Connell. Yeah. All army officers, yeah. I believe, afterwards. They beat a team called Perryville. Oh, I remember Perryville, yeah. From yeah. Perry Square. Paul yeah, Ryan. Paulie Ryan's team, that's right. Yeah, well, and a, a, fella, a fella, his father had a little shop with all the sweets or pie yeah. Yeah, 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 Do you remember pie no, I know, the little guy asked them, yeah? There, along there. Yeah. And he came along there, and a fella called Heaney, he died, there's Heaney. They beat him, they beat him 14-1. Go, go, yeah, yeah. And do you know who yeah. was referee the same day? Yeah. George King. Go, yeah. Remember I George King? I remember him, yeah. Remember he's carried his yeah. son, who was a special child, you have... on the bar of his bike. Yeah. And he was refereeing the matches. Yeah. And do you know, they were 14-1. Yeah. They were being beaten 14-1. And there was still a half hour to go. <laughs> and they know they'd be beaten. 51. So do you know what Michael Paul did? Yeah. In the mud. Yeah. Didn't, didn't George King lose the whistle of the match? Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. And do you know what Michael Paul did? The goalkeeper? Yeah. Didn't he walk over and stand on the whistle? <laughs> in the mud. Did. And the whole, the two buried it. Buried and the two teams are looking for the whistle. Yeah. And couldn't find it. I see. So what did George do? Yeah. Not to be outdone. Yeah. He got a job and he was going to see through it. From the remaining match... He took a big key that he had from the billiards yeah, school. I see, yeah, the billiards. Yeah, I know. Old folks home. Yeah. He took it out and he blew it through the top of the key. And that was his whistle. Yeah. And that was the score, 14-1. Yeah. Tom Tobin, I could talk till the yeah. cows came home, but I have a yeah. few more records to play and music to play. Have you any other old memories now that you'd like to... Your brother... Uh, you, but your brother was a, a bohemian man, wasn't he? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. I know, he played with Munsters and then he went to Boz. He went to Boz. He did, he did. Why, did he, why did he go to Boz? Uh, I mean, in those days, Bowes were, were the elites, and most of us were all the... I don't know what happened. And you ask him that. But yeah. wait a minute, no, your, all your nephews or Grady's are presentation. They are, they are, they're, they're, they're all pres. They are, pres, that's right. Well, well, one more thing about soccer. Did you ever hear of Ferky Lynch, the referee? Did you? I did, did well, We were outside one day, outside and, outside and, outside and, outside and... What the, what, the, what the park is out there, there Tuma Park, what do we call it? Shelburne. Shelburne Park. We're outside in Shelburne Park. And it was a terrible day, as you see. And I didn't want to, I didn't want to play a whole match at all. Mm. And uh, I went over to Ferky anyway. And says I to Ferky, I went over to Ferky. So I got to say, shall look at the condition of the field. Mm. But Ferky had other ideas of it. And he says to me, it's in the underground conditions at all. He says, there's no overhead conditions. No overhead conditions. <laughs> Tom, you enjoyed all, you, Bob. you enjoyed all your years, oh, yeah, <coughs> didn't you? Yeah, yeah. And you're nearly 60 years at one firm. I am, almost 60 years at one firm. Well, Tom, <coughs> As in the open conversation, yeah. my remarks, I said, if you were over there across the yeah. pond, you'll get an OB from the Queen. Yeah. For, but there's another thing you know, I want to mention before I, before I, before I finish. finish. Before I finish. Tom, before it. you finish, have a glass of I something now. Because you're talking all the time now. And you know something? There was a glass for me that someone took. I must avail now of that. Jer Madden's hospitality and have a little time. Oh, there's two, there's two, there's two in Munsters that, that I, I, I'd love to, I'd love to, I'd love to say a few words about because they're dead and buried. Speak away, Tom. And one of them is, there were two trainers, there were the two trainers. One was Paddy Foley, did you ever hear of him? He worked in Lipton's. He worked in Lipton's. Slice up the round, he said yeah. to me, after my mother. Paddy Foley, hmm. a great character. Hmm. And he played with Munster for years. The and Roxborough Road. And the other fellow was Jimmy Carr. 
Oh. He was in Downey. Jimmy played for Mulsanne Street. Yeah, he was in Downey for the years. That's he right, was Jimmy one of the coaches that they had it in. That's right. Why do you want to mention them? No. Because, because... Th that they're not, they're never mentioned. I don't know where they are. Rarely mentioned. Both. There's two other characters then that when they went into the club and I always mm. admired them when they had the play. It was Dan Hirschian. Well, of course, he became an international. Dan Hirschian. And I, the, the only thing I remember about Dan Hirschian was... I went to him on there, I went to him, I was talking to him on there, Dan Hurry, I think my nose is broken, I says to him. And he says to me, look, look at mine. And it was just twisted the same as my one. So he says, I never got anything done with my nose. So I went down to Barrington's and I got my nose up there. Right? Below on Barrington's? Below on Barrington's. And uh, my nose, my nose, I was, I was, after I was sorry that I got it done. Because well, it was never... Not wrong with it. To, but no, I know that, but it never worked properly after. In what, in breeding or it's... Yeah, in breeding. Oh, yeah? Yeah. And do you snore at night? No, I don't think that. But you're very lucky. Yeah. But it, it didn't, it didn't, it you didn't. need a close And break. I always remember Dan Hershey and Mummy said to me, let your nose alone. Exactly. Let Definitely your nose alone. But himself, no, and Turkey, as he. Turkey, as he. Another beer. Another lovely man. They were great. They were lovely, no. They were, they were great people in those days, weren't ah, they? Were, they were. And Terrell worked all his life beyond Indeed. my mind. Indeed. They were all great people. Oh. I was telling the boys here that, uh, about that, uh, when I said the boys, yeah. my yeah. listeners aside, yeah. when Ter Casey got a cap for Ireland, yeah. Yeah. which was announced oh, sure. on the wireless, I think, yeah. not everybody wireless oh. then, in the, in the year of the Congress, 1932, yeah. I'm told, yeah. the board boy band came down and played outside his house in Dixon's Lane. Celebration yeah, when he got yeah, a cap yeah. for Ireland. Yeah, yeah. So rugby was always a big, a big oh, deal. Oh, sure, 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 But Tom, sure. one last thing now before we say good night, all our friends, yeah, yeah. and this lovely chat that you yeah, and I yeah. had. Mike Namara didn't know to carry on. He's still alive. Played in the front, plays, plays, played in the front row with, 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 with if you get the hook. Sean McNamara. Sean, Sean, Sean Mackey, yeah, he was, uh, was right, played, played in the front row with, with, with I don't know, the, the, yeah. the hooker for like, can't he give his name? Yeah, yeah. But he's still alive, Sean Mackey. Oh, yeah. I know and again they see him. Another great, another great character. You, and the Hayes is the played with Sam Mary's before Manchester we go. Hayes. Well, there was a lad and he, he never progressed like me from Jonah. Mm. And we used to have real tussles. Oh, I yeah. think, I think the, we used to Were you a clean player, Ducky. Tom? Yeah, I was not. Were you I not? don't think so. No, you're not. We, we used to call him Ducky Hayes. Ducky. Why Ducky. do you say you weren't the clean look, Tom? Come on, you, the, the cameras no, no. are rolling now. Hey, well, the ref was uh, looking like, did you? Oh, yeah. Oh, the yeah. Fellow no, was, it was all that we're talking. The fellow was naughty. In, in my idea, in my idea, if we went down the ball, you were lucky to get a puff. Were well, you talking? You were. Why, well, would the walk in your... Double, double, double. double. double, double. Never, never apologise, Randy. No. But that's what I'll need to say. That's all in the game. All in the game. That's Frank Sinatra says. Yeah, yeah. Well, Thomas, before we say good night, yeah. no, here... Uh, to the cameras and, and I'm so delighted to come along yeah. because I, I'm going to say this now Tom my mother you said to me I always keep quoting my mother yeah. because she was a, a great she inspired me yeah, in childhood yeah. she said Tom she said to me or Thomas sometimes she called me yeah. if you've anything good to say about people yeah. say it while they're alive oh, that's right, no that's use right. walking up no, and say put your hand behind no, your no. backside and you say oh grand never done yeah, nothing yeah, to know yeah, about yeah, grand fella and ducking over to Isafari for a point yeah, yeah, and by yeah. the way going into the red lab you remember yeah, yeah I do and I they've do. gone back to work yeah. and telling the boss yeah. it was a very sad funeral yeah. <laughs> they, were sick, they were drinking inside it in Jerry O'Day's or, yeah, yeah, or Isafari's yeah, yeah. my mother always said say, say nice thing to people while they're alive yeah. well Tom Tobin oh, I'm taking this opportunity you're one of the unsung characters of here a man who'll give 60 years of his life and come on a television show yeah. and chat away like it and dress you're, yeah. you're, 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 you're like a dedicated follower of oh, passion yeah. you're, 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 you're people and excuse yeah. let me finish now yeah. Yeah. because it's, it's about you I want to say yeah. people have great regard for you Tom yeah. you played the game you may have played the game with monsters clean but you're a decent fellow you never did done any harm to anybody yeah. and you're much revered and you're much loved by a lot of people in Limerick and by all your colleagues and friends, yeah. and we want, and I want to say thank you. And uh, do you have a great sense of your, all your family, all your family, yeah, all your own family? Yeah, yeah. Say hello to them all. Oh, I say hello to them all. Yeah, and I say a good profile <laughs> of you. <laughs> Don't have you a nice picture because this yeah. film now is for posterity. Yeah. In years to come, people will say I have the video at home of Tom Tobin, a Limerick celebrity, sportsman, character. And much loved, and I tell you who you're much loved by, Tom. The people with whom you have given 60 years of your life, the Hassett family, I'm delighted that you're here tonight. And they asked me to send their best wishes to you, and delighted to wish you well, and many more years of happiness, yeah. Tom Tobin. Yeah. Well, why, why, why'd like to... 
First of all, I, I, I'd like to apologise for any of my friends in bygone days that I forgot to mention. Yeah. Because I had great times in the Rowan Club and in the Snooker Hall and in the Biller Room and in the Soccer Rugby. Soccer Rugby were all my friends. But there is the world of them dead and buried. And I just think of two and outstanding or three, I'll mention one for the first, was Bunty McInerney, the Lord be good him, and Michael Phelan. I'll always remember those pair and Billy Marshall our tennis chief in St. Michael's. They're dead and buried. Big Gilligan. I could be here all you night could, talking could, about them all. And you I had a lot of people here in my old brain all day to say something about, but I forgot them and I'm very sorry. And to my own family and to all of my own relations, all the O'Grady's and all the, yeah. the different things, well, I, I'm delighted. Tom, you're, you're a great guy. You're oh, a good Limerick oh, man. Yeah. A decent, honest man. <laughs> Still working yeah. after 60 years service. God yeah. bless you. Lovely. And come back to me 10 years time and we'll repeat what you said tonight. God bless good you, Good luck to you, Tom, and you too, boy. Thanks. Thank you, Tom. Well, no. folks, TOD, you know, Tom O'Donnell back with you know. My guest will go out now to the hospitality room where he'll be well entertained. And uh, Tom O'Donnell back with you. Uh, I'm going to go now, instead of playing you some music now, ladies and gentle folk, uh, I'm going to, I promised you some videos, and uh, I called it in my program uh, <clears throat> with Darren here. I call it, who is working feverishly, that everything goes across well to you. Uh, I call it uh, tidbits from my TV. Tidbits, they're not necessarily for Tom and Pascal tidbits, but more the little bits and pieces that I have unearthed over the years. So I've th I'll throw in a few tonight now. I th there'll be a hard act to follow after Mr. Tobin's uh, chat with me here, which I hope you enjoyed. It was a simple conversation. As I said, in many people's eyes, he's not a VIP, but to me and all my friends and equals and colleagues, he is certainly a VIP because he possesses all the old qualities that we associate with Limerick people. Right, enough of the sentiment now. Let's go now. I'll give a wink and a nod to Dar now. The first piece of tape I have for you is an extract from, uh, from uh, a, a children's show. And we did dozens of shows up for children. Here is a little bit of a song that Tom and Pascal have been associated for a long time. So, Darren, if you will, will you roll it there, please? Fine and loud now for all my cousins outside. Here we go now, folks. And uh, let's see, it speaks for itself. So here it is now. Look at your, look at your screen now. With public audience bold yet wary I love myself with Precious lives we have cherished. When danger rooms we're never dear. But when we meet the helpless woman, well, it's the boys that lose the harm. We run them in. We run them in. We run them in. We run them in. We show them where the balls gone down. We run them in. We run them in. We run them in. We run them in. We show them where the balls gone down. Yeah. 